never said I need the heavens No, I don't want the shooting stars But what I want is what you are Hi guys, we are the Danikas. I'm Zani Danika And I'm Adi or Adi Danika But you can call me Adi We got married on the 12th of October 2019 And yes, we had Rora and White Wedding on the same day. Rora in the morning, wedding in the afternoon. Yeah. So, hmm, what inspired it? Uh, you know, I'm going to dance with my Inspiration really number one. Yeah, I'm being honest. Really <laughs> Inspiration number one. I just wanted everything to happen. Like, I think we both wanted that. Yeah, I think we we both um, were not interested in the home. You you do the traditional rice today, then you have to wait after a month or so. Then you organize. You call people again. Then they come and then you have the um, the, the white wedding. We're just like you know what? We have already gathered people and the important people the close friends and relatives are supposed to be there are already there so why wait for a, a later date to call, again call people to say come we are now having a wedding since the whole idea behind since the whole idea is we are doing uh is it in culturation because this whole white wedding thing was never in our culture as africans <laughs> <laughs> our thing was the lobola so we said okay fine so if we're doing both of them then let's just have them the whole day so this inspired the whole theme this is why we had white and kente kente because well he's got ghanaian blood running <laughs> through his veins um and white to represent the white wedding so that's why we had the white and kente theme and yeah and also the the, the, the same idea that we myself uh, specifically I was, I was very concerned about um, wanting our wedding to truly represent our values um, for instance the whole idea of a white wedding where you have these fancy long and flowy white gowns never really appealed to me it felt like a, a foreign concept right but then mixing uh, but then having the kente so it, the, 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 the wedding um, I was wearing white and kente. She also was wearing white and kente. Then we added the veil to to to, to her dress um, to make it the wedding gown. That for us was taking it to be an authentic African thing. And it was perfect because of the you know setting, the environment. Like uh, we did it at our home because traditionally that's how Aurora happens. You come to the bride's home so at my father's homestead we had like you know Maoswa and everything and just the theme just it just gelled it was perfect i loved it for me the best part was the mass um i think because well well definitely the both of us have got a really strong christian and catholic background and that's something that we've both loved and yeah it was it was beautiful it really it, it I, I think it just made it completed the whole day because i think the whole day just showed who we truly are you know we're not big or flashy people we're simple people who love beautiful things <laughs> <laughs> and who love god and being next to the love of my life and praising God and being thankful and putting our marriage into God's hands it just made the day perfect and the priest was on fire <laughs> okay well you want to say everything I also <laughs> want to speak <laughs> I also okay, want speak. to speak okay speak baby but you have said everything <laughs> anyway I, I actually wanted to say um I'm actually also I thought um I had a different part but now that she's she, she's spoken about it I also feel the same um, especially the fact that um, the priest is a very close friend and so he was his homily was tailor-made as, as it were 
the, like part like part of the of, of the bridal team or the, the groom's team. I don't know if what 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 those are called. <laughs> um, the groomsmen are also his friends. So he was speaking um, on issues which he knows about, and you know, even his homily was tailored as someone who's speaking to people he already knows. So for me, that helped, and also the fact that um, like everyone was just happy, and you know, both families are Catholic, yeah. and mass was really that you know where they had that whole we are the same here and this is a, a beautiful union of two families with similar beliefs so let's have fun and let's praise the lord and of course my team they were very happy ah they were lit <laughs> <laughs> and they were having fun and i mean that, 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 that that's wonderful you know when you, you have know, i thought you were gonna say solo namutai so i i know <laughs> I said mass. You're gonna also remember that in the app. That dance was epic. We did not practice at all. I don't even know where those moves came from, but it was fun. I, I wouldn't change anything about the day. Um, yeah, it was beautiful. It was perfect. You know what? Yeah. And the truth is, if if I were nervous. You would see it, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not nervous. I I feel like she just won't get her, you know. Um, yeah. But the track is late, like really late. He was supposed to get here by half five, and he wasn't here. He hasn't even collected the stuff. So he's supposed to collect the tents and the chairs and everything. And we're doing DIY decor. So please tell me what time I'm supposed to finish, and I'm supposed to get my makeup done. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I try to push it to the Yeah. I think I'm a, I'm a bundle of, um, of of mixed emotions. I'm, I'm I'm excited. I'm nervous. I can. I think I'm also a bit scared because I'm not too sure what to expect there. Because you know you all stood up and and stuff, and then you get there of ones sort of jail. So, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not every day in life that you get to, you get to bump into um, your best friend, and then she becomes the love of your life. So I'm, that is what make, is making me excited because I know that this is a journey I'll enjoy because this is the love of my life.
And what God has joined, men must not divide. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless, the, bless you and continue to be with you now and forever. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Six years ago, <laughs> six years ago, I wrote in my journal and I wrote the qualities that I would want in my husband. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that she would tick for almost every box. <laughs> Except for singing, you don't like singing. <laughs> Uh, why did I never imagine it was you? Because eight years ago when we met, we did not have the most pleasant first impression. <laughs> um, but I would love to thank God for today because this is by divine design. And we have known this from last year. <laughs> we knew. We just knew that this was by divine design. And I'm so grateful to God for you. I'm grateful that you chose me. There was a point in time where I thought that um, there were specific people who were meant to find the love of their life. And I never thought that I fit in that, in that bill. I thought maybe I would be a Jesuit. <laughs> <laughs> Then there was a time when I met you, by met you I mean, not for the first time, but I met you, you know the day. <laughs> and I just knew you were the one. I distinctly remember going to Munya and saying, I found the woman I'm going to marry. And they laughed at me. <laughs> <'Cause It's not laughs> <lying>. <laughs> <laughs> because as my confidante, you knew everything. And he was like, oh, there he goes again. <laughs> but a few weeks after I made my intentions clear to you, I took you to see my sister who was here. And you said, but why is he rushing? But you see, when you find the person you want to spend the rest of your life with, there's no need to wait.